Hi, from the previous web services implementation presentation, you have learned the two different ways of implementing web services, that is Wisdom or Contract First and Java First. You have also learned that Apache CXF is an open source web services implementation which implements the JAXWS standard. From this presentation, before we move on to the web services hands-on, we will learn the three important steps that are required to come up with a Wisdom First web service using Apache CXF. The first and foremost step is to come up with a WSDL file. We define our WSDL file, which might inc also include adding a schema file, which defines all the elements, all the XML elements that are required for our business functionality. And we then generate stubs, Java classes, from this WSDL file using the WSDL2 Java tool provided by Apache CXF. One of these stub classes is an interface that is implemented by our endpoint class. So our web services implementation class will implement an interface that is generated by Wisdom to Java in which we write all our web services methods. The Wisdom, there is also an ant task. CXF provides us with an ant task to generate the steps. We'll be using that in the next hands-on presentation. The second step is to declare this endpoint implementation class which we write in the CXF servlet.xml file, which is a Spring configuration file. Yes, CXF allows Spring-based configuration, and we define our endpoint in the CXF servlet.xml file using the JAXWS endpoint XML element. Once we have the endpoints configured, all we need now is to define or declare the CXF servlet class in our web.xml. CXF comes with a servlet that we need to define in our deployment descriptor for our web services web application. Once we define it and deploy our web application with all these components on Tomcat or any other application server, we are all set to receive the incoming web services requests. Once deployed, the CXF servlet loads on startup when the web application starts up or when the server starts up. And when a web services request comes in, the CXF servlet during startup, it reads the CXF servlet.xml or it knows about all the beans and endpoints within the CXF servlet.xml. And when a web services request comes in, the CXF servlet uses the other classes in the CXF jars to deserialize the incoming SOAP request into the Java stubs that get generated. And, and also handle this Java stubs, by, it fills in these Java stubs with all the incoming details and it hands it over to the web services implementation classes appropriate method. And, uh, and vice versa. It then takes the response back from the web service implementation class, serializes it into a SOAP message and sends it back to the client. It's that easy. To summarize, from this presentation you have learned the three important steps that are required to come up with a contract first web service using Apache CXF. First step is to come up with a digital file and generate the step steps and then implement the, our web service implementation by implementing one of these steps. The second step is to declare this endpoint in the CXF servlet.xml file which will later be used by the CXF servlet. The third step is to declare the CXF servlet in our deployment descriptor or the web.xml file. In the next hands-on presentation, we will see much more details of these three. Until then, keep sharing and learning. Thanks for watching.